Philosophy Challenge. Hi, I'm Max Tung. I'm from Singapore and I study biochemistry. A poem by Coleridge Taylor, first published in 1897, celebrates the 50th anniversary of the independence of which West African country? Uh, 97. Well, it would be really early, Max, like 1910s, 1920s, something like that. Uh, Liberia? Probably not, though. West African country. Yeah. Would we'll you say Liberia? Just go with Liberia. Liberia? Liberia is correct. The collection of the Marmotin includes Monet's impression, Sunrise, the work that gave the Impressionist movement its name. It is a view of which French port? Oh, I only know it's called Impressionist. Like Le Havre or Marseille. Marseille? Do you want to say Marseille? Go to Marseille. Yeah. Marseille? No, it's Le Havre. Ugh. The Marmotin also... Right, we're going to take a picture round. For your picture starter, you're going to see a Venn diagram representing the land borders of two countries. The countries themselves are shown in outline, and their neighbours are represented by flags. The two countries have one neighbour in common. Name that connecting country. Imperial Tsung. A Poland. Poland is correct, yes. <laughs> so we are at links the Czech Republic and Belarus, as you can see there. So we follow on from the Czech Republic and Belarus and their shared neighbour Poland with picture bonuses of three more Venn diagrams showing the land borders of a pair of countries. In each case, give the single shared neighbour that lies in the intersection of the diagram. Firstly... Bulgarian, Armenia, so Turkey. Uh, Turkey? Turkey is correct. There we are. You can see Turkey's in green there. Right, secondly... Uh, Congo and Zimbabwe, so this is going to be uh, Zambia. Zambia? Zambia is correct, between the DRC and Zimbabwe. And finally... Laos and Malaysia, so Thailand. Thailand. Thailand is correct, between Malaysia and Laos. Well done. Right, ten points for this. The 1420 Battle of Witkoff Hill and the 1620 Battle of White Mountain took place near which present-day capital? Imperial Tsung. Prague. Prague is correct. <laughs> you get a set of bonuses now, Imperial, on ancient India. Shortly after the death of Alexander the Great, Chandra Gupta founded which large pan-Indian empire? Mauryan dynasty. Uh, the Mauryan dynasty? That's correct, yes. Chandra Gupta's palace was at Pataliputra on the Ganges. Which present-day Indian state capital occupies the site? Uh, Patna. Uh, Patna. Patna is correct. Who was the third ruler of the Maurya Empire? Ashoka. Uh, Ashoka. Ashoka is correct. Well done. <laughs> right, ten points for this. Formerly part of the Khanate of Kokand, Namangan in the northern Fergana Valley is a major city of which country? It is Imperial roughly... Tsung. Uzbekistan. Uzbekistan is correct. <laughs> Autumn and Summer are sections of which debut novel of 1970? The author of Future Nobel Laureate set the work in her hometown in Ohio. Hometown in Ohio, um... American, American. Nobel Prize in life. Oh, uh, Harriet Beecher Stowe is from Ohio, isn't no, she? But it's no, no, it's a, way, a Future Nobel later. Laureate. Um, Any guesses? Uh, Tony Morrison, I don't know. Tony Morrison? No, I was looking for the name of the debut oh, novel. Oh, it was The Bluest Eye, oh, gotcha. and it, that is by Tony Morrison, of course. Answer, as soon as your name is called, using the atomic number of the periodic table, if argon minus neon equals oxygen, what element is calcium minus fluorine? Imperial sun. Sodium. Sodium is correct. <laughs> These bonuses are on species of crab. The Norwegian red king crab is found to the north of Russia in which area of the Arctic Ocean, also known as the Mermian Sea? Uh, the Mermian Sea, that would be the Barents Sea, I think. Barent. B-A-R-E-N-T-S. OK, Barents Sea. Barents Sea is correct. <laughs> Ten points for this. What five-letter word links the largest lake of Italy with the nationwide law enforcement body that in 1922 replaced... Imperial Sun. Garda. Garda is correct. <laughs> Formed by Napoleon in 1806, the Grand Duchy of Berg had as its capital which city on the Rhine, a Dusseldorf. little downstream of Cologne? Dusseldorf. Dusseldorf, yeah. Uh, Dusseldorf. Dusseldorf is correct.
Hi, I'm Max Tung. I'm from Singapore and I study biochemistry. Right, you get a set of bonuses. The first set of bonuses are on world rivers. In each case, name the river from its tributaries. First, for five points, the Red, Arkansas, Ohio and Missouri rivers. The Mississippi River. Correct. Secondly, the Bagirathi, Alaknanda and Yamuna. A Yamuna would be uh, the uh, Ganges. The Ganges River. The Ganges is correct. Finally, the Valserine, Drome, Ardesh and Isère. Uh, Rhone, yeah. The Rhone. The Rhone is correct. <laughs> Your bonus is on the Wembley FA Cup. In 1953, Stan Mortensen of Blackpool became the first footballer to achieve what feat in a Wembley FA Cup final? In 2019, Raheem Sterling narrowly missed becoming the second. Is it like a hat That's trick? a double hat trick. Yeah, just say a hat yeah. trick or something. Uh, double hat trick? No, it's a hat trick. Okay. It's just a hat trick. Fine. OK, we're going to take a picture round now. For your picture start, you're going to see a map of the contiguous United States. For 10 points, name the city marked. Uh, Imperial Tsung. Uh, Portland. Portland is correct. <laughs> Portland, Oregon is known as the City of Roses after around 10,000 rose bushes were planted there in 1905 for a worldwide exposition. For your bonuses, three more cities with the same nickname. Five points for each you can identify. Firstly? Um, Shiraz. That is Shiraz. Secondly? Uh, Guadalajara. Guadalajara is right. And finally? Uh, Bloemfontein. Bloemfontein is correct. <laughs> Right, another start of question. Listen carefully, you can have one percentage point either way. Rounded to the nearest whole number, what percentage of naturally occurring chlorine on Earth occurs as the isotope chlorine-35? Uh, Imperial Tsung. 50. No? Right, 10 points for this. First awarded in 1893, what prestigious trophy in North American sports is named after the son of a 19th century British Prime Minister? Imperial Tsung. Stanley Cup. The Stanley Cup is correct. Well done. <laughs> right, ten points for this. Of England's areas of outstanding natural beauty, what is the largest, including within its boundaries, Breeden Hill, T.S. Eliot's Burnt Norton, and the source of the River Thames? Uh, Imperial Tsung. The Cotswolds. The Cotswolds is correct, yes. <laughs> I'm so soon as your name is called. The number AA in hexadecimal corresponds to what decimal number? Uh, Imperial Tsung. 27. No. My heart goes round. Right, 10 points for this. What letter of the Greek alphabet is a homophone of a word that can mean to propel a trireme? It can also mean the eggs of a fish. Uh, Imperial Tsung. Rho. Rho is correct, yes. From 1619 to 1620, Elizabeth lived in which present-day capital when her husband, Frederick of the Palatinate, was elected king of Bohemia? Bohemia should be, should be Prague. But was it, so was it Bohemia or was it before when he was in the Palatinate? Frederick was... I mean, we'll say Prague, I think. Oh, no. Yeah, uh, just go with Prague. Prague, Prague is correct. Yeah. Your bonuses are on malnutrition this time, Imperial. With a name taken from a West African language, what severe form of protein energy malnutrition is characterized by stunted growth, edema, and abnormal patches of skin pigmentation? Kwashioko. Kwashioko. Uh, nominate Sung. Kwashioko. Kwashioko is correct. Not characterized by edema, what other form of severe malnutrition has a name derived from the Greek for withering? Um, severe malnutrition? Any... Atrophy? That's no, Merasmus. What fox? Andreanoff, Rat and Nia. Imperial Song. Aleutian Islands. Aleutian Islands is correct. <laughs> Titled A Sexual Suspect. Ten points for this. Answer as soon as your name is called. How many hectoseconds make up one hour? Imperial Song. Uh, 36,000. No, it's not. It's 36. Ten points for this. Which market town between Coventry and Oxford gives its name to the procedure in cryptoanalysis developed by Alan Turing, developed by Alan Turing to help decipher the Enigma encoding? Ah, uh, Imperial Tsung. Bista Village. Bista Village, that's a shopping centre, isn't it? <laughs> it's Banbury. Three questions on chemical elements. 
Adjacent to barium in the periodic table and discovered in 1839, which element has a name derived from the Greek for lie hidden? Is it cesium? Lie adjacent, adjacent to barium. Yes, cesium is next to barium. Yeah. Sure. You yeah. think so? Yeah, sure. Cesium? No, it's lanthanum. No. The name of which lanthanide means hard to get or difficult of access? Uh, dysprosium. Dysprosium is correct. Discovered in 1898, which group 18 element has a name that comes from the Greek for stranger? Uh, xenon. Yeah, xenon. Yeah. Uh, xenon. Xenon is correct. <laughs> right, we're going to take another start question. Born in 1883, which US geologist gives his name to a major glacier in West Antarctica, the significance of which in terms of global ah, sea level rise. Ellsworth. No, you lose five points. It's ten points for this. The terms acrolect and basilect refer to high and low prestige versions of what? Ah, imperial tongue. Dialect. Yes, I'll accept that, yes. Thank you. Your bonuses are on glacial features and landforms. Give each term from the description, as found on the National Geographic's website. Firstly, what term denotes a rock deposited by a glacier that differs from the geology or landscape in which it's found? This is not a moraine, is it? That's I have no idea what moraine is, but yeah. I That's think... the only word I know to do with Just glaciers. go with moraine. Is it a moraine? No, it's an erratic. Uh... What name is given to a long earthen mound shaped by the movement of glaciers? Do we know anything? Is what? it an Inselberg? It, 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 that word, like, that's my only guess. I just don't want it to be moraine when that's the only thing I know. <laughs> just say moraine then. Come on. Is it moraine? No, it's not. It's drumlin. What term denotes a material such as earth, sand and gravel transported by a glacier? Hmm? Is that a moraine? <laughs> is that a moraine? Is it moraine? That is a yeah. German <laughs> moraine. Yes, well done. Hi, I'm Max Tung. I'm from Singapore and I study biochemistry. A translation of Boethius and a treatise on the astrolabe are prose works by which English poet who died in 1400? Oh died in 1400 is Chaucer. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it has to be, doesn't it? Yeah. Uh, Chaucer. Correct. <laughs> Historically known as Propontis, which small inland sea partly separates the Asiatic uh, and... Uh, the Sea of Marmara. The Sea of Marmara is correct. Tope and starry smooth hound are small species of what fish? They both give birth to live young and are thought to use the Thames estuary as a nursery. Are these oh, dogfish? Is, is it? Like, what wait. were you thinking, Max? Guppy. Is it a guppy or a dogfish? Guppies give birth. OK, do you want to see that one? Yeah. Guppy? No, it's sharks. Oh. Uh, <laughs> right, we're going to take a picture around now. We're going to see a map of India with a state capital marked. The ten points give both the name of the city and the state of which it's the capital. Ah! Uh, Imperial Tsung! Uh, Chennai and Tamil Nadu. That is correct. <laughs> we follow on from Chennai, the capital of Tamil Nadu, with bonuses on maps showing three more Indian state capitals. Again, the state borders have been removed, and again, in each case, you need to give both the city and the state of which it's the capital. Firstly, um, that one is Lucknow and Uttar Pradesh. Uh, I'll nominate Song. Lucknow and Uttar Pradesh. It is, that's correct. Well done. Secondly? Um, Bhopal, Madhya Pradesh. That is correct, yes. And finally? Uh, Kolkata, West Bengal. Correct. <laughs> Three, ten points for this. What French term denotes a person variously described as an ambivalent figure of urban affluence and modernity? who has no other purpose in life than to be an acute observer of industrialised contemporary life. The term is thought to derive from an old Norse word, meaning to wander aimlessly. Ah, uh, Imperial Tsung. Flaneur. Flaneur is correct, yes. <laughs> we get three questions on fungi. What large genus of fungi is characterised by thick stems and an absence of gills on the underside of the cap? Examples in Britain include the sep and the old man of the woods. Just give me a large class of fungi if you have one. Mushrooms? No, no, it's, it's, it's I think a it's a specific, specific type of mushroom. Yeah. yeah. Do you know any? No. I think we might we'll just just pass. Uh, pass. It's Boletus. No. Having a fruiting body with a distinctive pitted head, what name is commonly given to edible fungi of the Morcella genus? I mean, it sounded like a chanterelle or whatever, but it's, that's not a type of I think it's the disgusting-looking mushroom <laughs> thing. <laughs> but it's not a type of mushroom. It's, like, it's not a class of mushrooms. I don't know. 
Uh, Chanterelle. No, it's Morels. Oh, Morels. Ten points for this. Give two answers promptly. Up, down, bottom and top are four flavours ah. of quark. Imperial Tsum. Strange and Charm. Strange and Charmed are the others, yes. <laughs> In office from 1845, which US president is the subject of a song that mentions Manifest Destiny, the Mexican War and the Oregon Territory? Um, James K. Polk. Is it Polk? James K. Polk is correct. Which early studio album shares its name with a cathedral city on the River Whiteham at the junction of Fossway and Ermine Street? Uh, Whitham is Lincoln, so... So, Lincoln. Lincoln. Yeah. Correct. <laughs> Ten points for this. Named after an entrepreneur in the steel industry, which city in Indiana experienced rapid population loss in the mid-20th century uh, as a result of the... Imperial Tsung. Gary. Gary is correct. Well done. These bonuses are on authors and banknotes. Born in 1862, the novelist and women's rights activist Fatima Allier became the first woman to appear on which country's banknotes? She features on the 50 lira note introduced in 2009. Um, 50 lira Turkey, then? Yeah. yeah. Are there any other options? I yeah. mean, it, it's a Fatima, yeah. so... <laughs> uh, Turkey. Turkey is correct. The author Ichiyo... Higuchi appears on a Japanese 5,000 yen note. She died aged 24 in 1896 during the reign of which emperor? 1896. Would was be... that Taisho? Or was it... 1896. Oh, no, no. It was, isn't it Meiji? Yeah, oh, it might be. Yeah, Meiji yeah. Taisho. Uh, I think Meiji. Meiji. Yeah, because yeah, Taisho was very short, I think. Yeah. Uh, the Meiji emperor. Correct. <laughs> right, 10 points for this. Taroko Gorge, Sun Moon Lake, and the ah. National Palace. Imperial Tsung. Taiwan. Taiwan is correct. <laughs> right, 10 points for this. In physics, the mass ratio of which two subatomic particles has a value to the nearest whole number of 1,836. Anyone want to buzz from. Ah. Imperial Tsung. Protons and electrons. It's protons and electrons, yes. <laughs> well done. These bonuses are on panhandles of the USA. Which northwestern state's panhandle is often referred to as the chimney because of its appearance on a map? Northwestern state. Idaho, surely. Uh, Idaho? Idaho is correct. The majority of which state's panhandle is contained within the Tongass Forest? Alaska. The largest Alaska. national forest? Uh, Alaska. Correct. Nicknamed the Mountain State because it is part of West the Virginia. Appalachian system, what is the only US state with two panhandles? Say again. West Virginia. Uh, West Virginia. West Virginia is correct. Ten points for this. <laughs> Answer promptly, naming the two North American lakes linked by the Welland Canal to the south of Toronto. The natural waterway between these two lakes ah. is the Niagara Imperial River. Tung. Uh, Erie and Ontario. Correct. <laughs> Your bonuses are on music. Named after a military and political figure who died in 1830 and described as a globe-trotting band of firecrackers, which youth orchestra was initiated in Caracas in the 1970s by Jose Antonio Abreu? Is this, like... It's one of the liberators, surely, isn't it? Like the Simon Bolivar... Yeah, name it, like, the yeah. Simon Bolivar Orchestra or something. Yeah, just try that. <laughs> the Simon Bolivar Orchestra. That is absolutely right. Geography <laughs> <laughs> and ISO tires. <laughs> and that was all. It's goodbye from Imperial College London. Bye. Bye. And it's